Hello from Scottsdale, Arizona. It's a beautiful winter day. We're here flying to Piaggio back to San Jose, California. Come along, 80 knot headwinds. It'll be brutal, but let's do it. I can be diamonds so close. And I don't want to take a trail in the world. But I can love you. Yeah, I'm going to love you. I'll give you the world of what I've got. The fans and fans, baby, I have not. It's going to love you. Alright guys, well uh, once again welcome aboard the Piaggio P180 Avanti 2. We're here in Scottsdale. Uh, yeah, there, my Charlie. We'll get you started. Uh, runway 2 and Alpha 15, taxi Alpha. Alright, 2 and Alpha 15, be Alpha. Thanks, Zero Mike Charlie. Plus, we're going to hang up all the Piaggio, runway 2 1 at Alpha 15, taxi Alpha. We are headed back home to San Jose after a few lovely days here in uh, beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. Got to bring my beautiful girlfriend with me on this trip. And uh, I'm excited to bring you guys another Piaggio P180 episode. Should be a nice uh, sunset flight home. We'll be chasing the sun westbound back to San Jose. Should be quite lovely. Ground Falcon 1929 Yankees, clear the runway to Alpha 6 Gate 5. Falcon 1929 Yankees, guys, ground taxi Gate 5, yeah, Alpha. Alpha Gate 5, yeah, Yankees. Falcon 229 Yankees, hold short of Alpha 12. Short of Alpha 12 for Falcon 2 up to exit Alpha at Alpha 12. Exit Alpha at Alpha 12, Alpha 2. Alright, there's right, Alpha right 15. Base, uh, clear to land 213, Papa Jewett, looking for traffic. Tower Piaggio 360, Mike Charlie, ready Alpha 15. Piaggio 360, Mike Charlie, set the tower, hold short, runway 21. Hold short 21, zero, Mike Charlie. Alright, taxi run up checks are good, we're down to the four takeoff lineup checks. Go fill tower up. Piaggio, zero Mike Charlie, runway 21 Alpha 15, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 21 Alpha 15, zero Mike Charlie. Alright, clear on the Gunsel left. Tower is stationed there, X ray Bravo on clear the Clear on the right. Of, of jet aviation. Helicopter 2 Tango Tango, hold position for traffic and um, stand by. Stand by, 2 Tango Tango. Alright, power set. Got two Got good engines. Sir 743 Charlie Golf, runway 21 full length, clear for takeoff, say direction of flight. Uh, 743 Charlie Golf, clear for takeoff 21, we're going to be northbound. Pilatus 844 Golf Tango, Scottsdale Power, hold short, runway 21, awaiting IFR release. Hold short for release, for Golf Tango. Helicopter 2 Tango Tango traffic inbound is a tug with a jet in trail, in tow, sorry, departing, uh, I'm sorry, say again, are you at Signature? No, no, I'm at jet. November 2 Tango Tango, roger, departing jet will be at your own risk, and northeast on departure is approved, just remain uh, west of the extended center line until you're outside the Delta. West of the center line, you betcha, 2 Tango Tango. From Zero Mike Charlie, runway 21, or I'm sorry, Zero Mike Charlie, contact Phoenix departure. Okay, we'll see you at Zero Mike Charlie. And helicopter. Uh, number 500, Charlie Papa, what's your destination, I'm sorry? Departure Piaggio 360, Zero Mike Charlie, 3000, climbing 5. Piaggio 360, Zero Mike Charlie, Phoenix departure, we're going to contact, climb 6000, altimeter 3012. Right up 6000, Zero Mike Charlie. 3012. Number Zero Mike Charlie, connect departure 119.2, good day. 922, good day, Zero Mike Charlie. At number 59er Charlie Papa, Squawk 534. Approach Piaggio 360 Mike Charlie, we're leveling 6,000. Piaggio 360 Mike Charlie, Phoenix approach, climb and maintain 8,000. 8,000, zero Mike Charlie. November 360 Mike Charlie, turn left heading 260. Left turn 260, zero Mike Charlie. Start heating it up. 
Zero Mike Charlie, climb and maintain one four thousand. One four thousand, Zero Mike Charlie. Number zero Mike Charlie, put direct ISO, climb and maintain five level two one zero. Direct ISO two one zero, zero Mike Charlie. Zero Mike Charlie? No, I think that's the other Zero Mike Charlie. Sorry about that. I just want to verify that's that's November 940 Mike Charlie. Crossing Tucson out of maintain level 260. 940 Mike Charlie at level 260. At Tucson. <laughs> I don't know if you got the tail end of that, guys. There's two Zero Mike Charlies on the frequency 940 Mike Charlie and 360 Mike Charlie. So. Uh, just before I turned the camera back on, there was some confusion where he was asking me, but he only said zero Mike Charlie if I wanted higher, and the other guy responded. All right, so just checked in with LA Center here, fly level 280. We're staying low, um, one, to avoid the headwinds. They only get worse as they go up, although uh, 83 knots is uh, on the nose is not good as it is, but uh, we're also trying to avoid the rides. Um, we're hearing reports of uh, moderate chop up in the 30s, so uh, we got the fuel, and we're going to stay down here at 28 and kind of ride this out, and if it gets worse, we can go up or down as we, uh, as we deem necessary. But uh, anyways... What I want to talk about today is something I haven't really touched on on my YouTube channel, and that's how I ended up in the Piaggio to begin with. Obviously, it's a pretty unconventional airplane. There's not too many of us Piaggio pilots out there. And the way I ended up in the seat is rather, I don't know, unusual and just not your normal getting a pilot job story. And that story dates back to uh, my teenage years as a fresh commercial pilot, not even with the multi-engine rating. And it basically comes down to being one in the right place at the right time and two, kind of networking and being social and uh, kind of jumping on every opportunity that's presented to you. So I'm 18 years old. I'm a fresh commercial pilot. I'm fairing airplanes all over the country, but even, you know, locally around San Jose, moving planes from Reed Hillview to San Jose for maintenance and back and forth and just local stuff as well. So I had just finished one of these uh, flights. I dropped off an airplane for maintenance and I see this airplane in the hangar. And uh, there's a group of people standing around the airplane in the hangar polishing the propeller. I come to find out that is the owner's two sons and wife. They are um, get, getting the airplane ready for a flight that evening and just, you know, go up to them and say, hey, this is a beautiful airplane. I'd never seen one in person before and it was uh, amazing to see one up close. So I was kind of just admiring it and chatting with them, getting to know... Uh, you know, what it's like to, to fly in a Piaggio. Turns out we had some mutual friends in the aviation industry, the guy I was faring airplanes for, they knew. And they said, hey, the, so the owner of this airplane, I was talking to the, the wife, so she said, my husband, he is currently flying our Pilatus right now, coming back here to San Jose, and when he gets back, he's gonna take this Piaggio out for a flight. Uh, would you like to be his co-pilot? And I said, um, yes, but let me call my parents. <laughs> so I step away, I call my parents, and uh, I didn't quite ask him. I kind of just told them, I said, hey, mom and dad, I'm going in this airplane to a different state at 6 p.m. at night on a weekday uh, with a guy I don't know, and uh, see you, bye. And, <laughs> and that was kind of it. 20 minutes later, this Pilatus rolls up, out comes the owner, and he hops from the Pilatus to his Piaggio, Fires that up and we're off to his meeting. I think we were going to Utah and here I was in the right seat. I'm sure he's thinking, who's this random kid in his right seat? And, you know, I kind of just sit there and uh, shut up and just take in everything and we get to know each other. He lets me do some radio calls and some flying and we really hit it off. And even better, uh, he also turned out to be a CFI. He's actually a very uh, experienced pilot, retired United Airlines 747, Captain 727. Uh, has thousands of hours under his belt. And I really learned a lot from him uh, during that flight. And from there, he kind of took me under his wing. We stayed in touch and he kept calling me saying, hey, you know, would you like to uh, sit right seat? 
in the plot I saw my next flight or the Piaggio, whatever it was, uh, that went on for uh, many, many years. He ended up selling the Pilatus not too long after and uh, flying this thing exclusively. Over the next few years, I kind of just uh, learned from the right seat. I ended up getting my multi not too long after. After a few hundred hours sitting in the right seat, kind of observing, he threw me in the left seat and started coaching me uh, on the, in the left seat of the Piaggio. Fast forward to present day, after uh, hundreds of hours in this airplane, insurance is finally happy. They've cut me loose, and uh, here I am flying the Piaggio single pilot. But life is good, so kind of a cool story. It's, again, not conventional. It wasn't a, I'm applying for this job. It was just kind of right place, right time, and it turned into something amazing unexpectedly, right? Like, when I first walked up to them, I had no idea I would be here in the seat flying this thing uh, for hire, single pilot, six or seven years later. So that just goes to show, you know, you got to say yes to everything. Had I said no, had I said, you know, my parents aren't going to let me, you know, blah, 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 I probably would not be here today so say yes to everything is kind of the moral of that story you never know what could come aviation is full of surprises and wonderful opportunities and uh, i'm very very blessed to have experienced some of those and to met some wonderful people who uh, take me under the wing and give me a chance so uh, here we are in the piaggio single pilot on our way back to san jose california on a very windy winter's day it's that time of year the jet stream and the winds are really picking up so uh, it was nice coming down but we're fighting that headwind going back Anyways, we'll check in with you guys uh, a little further up the road. We should have a nice sunset. We'll get some clips of that. We'll catch you guys on the uh, cruise and the top of descent back home into San Jose. Zero Mike Charlie, the enemy being found level two four zero and I have a memory to running advisor ready to copy. All right, down to two four zero, go ahead, Zero Mike Charlie. And the Zero Mike Charlie, clear direct Salinas, that's Sierra, November Sierra. Then direct flight Kilo, Lima, India, Delta Echo, then direct San Jose. Alright, Salinas Clyde, San Jose, Zero Mike Charlie. Zero Mike Charlie, the enemy team found level two zero zero now. Alright, down to two zero zero, zero Mike Charlie. Number zero, Mike Charlie, contact open, 128.7. 287, zero, Mike Charlie, we'll see it. Two. Center Piaggio, 360, Mike Charlie, 265, sending 200. November 360, Mike Charlie, Oakland, center, descend and maintain, 16,000, clean us all, 3022. 16,000, 3022, zero, Mike Charlie. Does that fly with Owen? Hey, what's up? Hey, big fan. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Glad I was rolling for that one. <laughs> Atlantic San Jose, November 360, Mike Charlie. Mike Charlie, welcome back and go ahead. Hey, thank you. We're about 20 minutes out. Four passengers should have three cars and uh, throw her back in the barn. Five. November 360, Mike Charlie, contact NorCal approach 134.6. 346, Mike Charlie, good day. Good day. NorCal Piaggio, Mike Charlie, 220 descending 16,000. We got Kilo for San Jose. CIGO 360, Mike Charlie, North Hill Approach, the Selena Ultimator 3024. 3024, thanks. Approach, good day, uh, flight citation. Here we go, into the soup. Flight number 190. <laughs> That's a cool shot. Alaska 1449, when able, reduced to 230. Oh, wow, look at this, Abe. Holy crap. Alaska 1449, contact Mark Al Approach on 120.1. Have a nice day. 120.1, good night, Alaska 1449. Piaggio 0, Mike Charlie, turn left, heading at 320. Left turn 320, 0, Mike Charlie. Oh my gosh. That was incredible. Approach 360, Mike Charlie, 8,210 on the speed. 0, Mike Charlie, North Al Approach, reduce speed to 190, then descend to maintain 5,000. 190, then 5,000, Zero Mike Charlie. Number Zero Mike Charlie, you're nine miles from Clyde, cross Clyde at about 5,000, cleared instrument approach, running 30 left. All right, Clyde at about 5,000, cleared approach, 30 left, Zero Mike Charlie. All right, localizers captured, glide slope is captured, down we go. Number three, six, zero, Mike Charlie, maintain 170 knots or greater until a five mile final, contact sound of the tower on 124.0, have a good day. All right, 170 or better to five miles, 24-0, good day, Zero Mike Charlie. Piaggio 360, Mike Charlie, ILS 30 left. 
Skyway 3485, Center of the Tower, Way 30 right, Lineup 8. Lineup 8, 30 right, Skyway 3485. Alaska 1449, hold short of runway 30 right at Lima. On Lima, hold short of 30 right, Alaska 1449. Three six zero, Mike Charlie, Charlie Tower, Charlie Tower, Boeing seven thirty seven, five mile final, runway three zero left, clear to land. Clear to land, three zero left, zero, Mike Charlie. We're five miles behind a Boeing. For his wake turbulence, um, since I have the airport in sight, I'll probably be eyes out and uh, come in pressure. above his glide path because he's flying the Atlas as well. Zero, Mike Charlie, do you have the Boeing seven thirty seven in sight on a one mile final? A affirmative. Zero, Mike Charlie, maintain visual separation from that traffic. Caution, wake turbulence. We'll come. Come in slightly above his glide path and land past his touchdown spot to avoid his wake turbulence. And we're going to land a little bit long for the wake. 1559, runway 30 right, full length, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 30 right, southwest 1559. San Jose Tower, helicopter 363 Gulf. Is that 363 Gulf? 363 Gulf, about 10 miles to the north, south, and descending, and I can request the Marriott arrival inbound for Atlantic via uh, Atlantic uh, Victor via Atlantic. 363 Gulf, Southern Tower, Southern Tower, 3024, Squawk 5335. 5335, 363 Gulf. 363 Gulf has tango. Tower, helicopter, FGM, we got information. Tango, we're going to be about for police trap. Zero, Mike Charlie, left turn at uh, Juliet, contact ground. Juliet ground, Zero, Mike Charlie. SJ1, wind 3024, Yankee Charlie, clear to land. Ground 360, Mike Charlie, taxi at landing. 360, Mike Charlie, send us a ground taxi to Juliet Victor. Juliet Victor, Zero, Mike Charlie. All right, guys, that's a wrap. We made it back to San Jose. What a beautiful flight. That was definitely one of the most incredible sunsets I've seen in a while. Hope you guys enjoyed that little story of how I became to fly this thing. Remember, just say yes to everything. Put yourself out there, network, and never know what a simple conversation could lead to. Like and subscribe for more episodes. I got a ton in the pipeline. Lots of good G4 stuff, Piaggio stuff, so stay tuned. Lots more to come, and we'll see you guys on the next flight.